So this here is the Harman HT4. So this is the fourth generation of this buggy. Is it German? Oh yeah, yeah. This is a this is a fully fully made in Germany buggy. So the quality is you know like really high. For this buggy is a two-wheel drive, of course. So if you're into two-wheel drive and you need a really good co uh, competitive buggy, this is definitely it. So yeah, so it has front disc hydraulic Hydraulic. Brakes. Yeah, front hydraulic brakes, um, big bore shocks, um, everything is adjustable on it. Uh, your caster is adjustable. Um, it has the uh, dual steering. Okay, so it's dual steer, dual servos for steering. Uh, it has one servo for the master cylinder to control the front hydraulic disc brakes. Right. and another servo to control your throttle and brake in the back. Crazy. Yeah, so the servo tray is made out of carbon fiber, but at the same time, it's also acting as a... Um, uh, a brace. As a brace or a stiffener for um, this, this uh, position of the, of the chassis. Um, the engine is a 26cc stage 3 uh, G4Z engine. So this is an EFRA spec engine. What that means is it's a basically a race spec engine. This engine is really good for these types of cars because they're fast and gives you good control to drive. So the pipe is a, is a Milky side tune pipe. So um, there's two options for pipes. There's one that goes to the back and there's one that goes to the side and you choose your preference i think this exhaust is better because it get, creates a little bit more weight in the center yeah. more of the center right. because there's already a lot of weight in the rear yeah. so it gives it a little bit more balance The differential in the rear yeah. is uh, you can access it, you know, you don't have to, it's just basically these two housings right. here, pull four screen, and you can pull the, rear the differential right. out. Um, it's, a, it's a ball drive, not a dog bone, so it's very similar to the MCD, oh, cool. so it's all ball drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like all aluminum. Yeah, it's all fully it's all alloy, but very CNC machine. yeah, but very strong car. And um, this here also is basically the protection of the buggy. This wing and this shock tower here protects the buggy very well when you're rolling over, basically. Yeah. So. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. It's a really nice buggy. Yes, um, for a two-wheel drive, it's it's really nice. Definitely. Yes. The Horman guy came uh, to Horman. the. Yeah. Woody, the Canadian fifth scale nationals one time, so he raced this buggy uh, and was really competitive. Like, you know, he won the whole thing. With oh it. yeah, he won the whole thing. So he won it the two wheel drive on buggy. The track, but he won the whole thing with it. I'm Gerhard Umstetter from Germany. Well, in Germany, we used to uh, go on on AstroTurf uh, because th this type of track makes a lot of work for the club. You know, this is more precision driving. We don't have these big jumps, but I love, I really love this track. I love this area here and uh, they even did a really good job. Uh, it's, it's a really ultimate test for each car, and uh, yeah, I love it. I really love it.
I mean, at, for our track, for Canadian Fifth Scale Nationals, the track was not an easy track to race like, no. you know, he didn't really bring a spare car, right? So he, you know, it's like he won it with one car. Yeah, you know what I mean? One car, exactly. We're in Walton, Ontario, and this is the home of the Fifth Scale Nationals. We are also a motocross track up here, but this little piece of heaven is all about RC. Which is pretty crazy. A lot of guys that are competitive, they'll have enough parts to at least build a whole new, no, new car. And not much had, parts, no, yeah, not much parts. didn't really break much. Just a few things here and there, that's all you had really, to be honest. Which is super cool, but this this thing's pretty badass. Um, yeah, so if you go to cardinalracing.com, you can check these out. Um, they do come as a kit, but uh, I know that uh, Cardinal Racing like basically builds these yeah, to order. Yeah. Yes, we, so. can, we can have them uh, pre-assembled uh, as rollers. Yeah. Yeah. So so this is this one is actually going to a customer, but you can see it's got the, the motors all ready to go. Servos are all installed. It's pretty much a gas gas go tune it and uh and you're ready to rip um you know probably have to break in the motor but uh yeah. you know some people don't even break in the two strokes they just they just run them so i don't know but that's up to you that's up to debate i'm sure but still this is uh pretty sweet it's all aluminum it's like machined in germany but um, super small company it's designed by like a couple dudes that's another sick one right uh it's such a cool freaking buggy mahar's just got a plethora of wicked stuff but we're gonna do something cool. We're gonna like, um, we're gonna do like a scale FG buggy and then we're gonna go run it, hopefully. Yeah. It's time for us to have some fun. And I'm hope hopefully it doesn't catch on fire, but we'll yeah, see what we, happens. Uh, we had a bit of an incident, so if yeah. it does catch on fire, we'll have it on video. Yeah, we'll get it on video. <laughs> so that's good. But yeah, but this thing is super sick and uh, yeah. We'll, uh, I'll, you know, I'll probably end up having some footage of it running at the fifth scale nationals that one time just to show what it can do, and uh, yeah, boom, this thing's sick. All right, wicked.